if you want to do this on your motorcycle, more power to you. Do I recommend it? Maybe, maybe not. Watch the whole video. See if you should do it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we're back with the 1983 Kawasaki GPZ 1100. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we've got a CB750 tank with a big old dent and a mini bike inner tube. What could go wrong? So guys, we're going to deflate this inner tube, try to stick it inside the tank, try to inflate it, and see if we can push this dent out. A few moments ago. Okay guys, I couldn't stand to look at this tank anymore. Um, because the inside of the tank is in such good shape. Let me turn that up a little bit more. It's in such good shape. So I couldn't stand to look at it anymore. So we're going to clean it up. And okay, guys, all we're going to use, some Dawn, some 1,000 grit sandpaper, and some water. The other one is a little more difficult to get off. It's got a little smash on it. I want to see if we can try to fix that, too. I love this color. I mean, it is UPS brown with some some glitter. Think of it like a, a stripper that works for UPS. Okay, guys. Uh, let's just full disclosure, disclaimer, everything. I've never done this before, but. I paid $100 for this CB750. It's got a big old dent in it. It can't get worse, right? So, if you want to do this on your motorcycle, more power to you. Do I recommend it? Maybe, maybe not. Watch the whole video, see if you should do it. What are the odds uh, that we ever get this inner tube back out of this tank? Let me know. This is a fat guy in a little coat right here. Fat guy in a little coat. This inner tube may never come out. So guys, what do you think? Likelihood of this being successful. Place your bets at DraftKings.com. Promo code, not a promo code. And I'm just using the, the little tire inflator here to try to minimize damage. I'm not hitting with the air compressor. So let's see, what do you guys think? Let's go with five PSI. It's inflating. I don't know if I'm inflating in the right area. This is gonna make a loud noise. It's gonna make a loud noise when it explodes. Okay, let's try again. I'm trying to get it out. Okay. Let me pull this thing out and I'll get back to you guys in just a moment. Okay, so things I learned the first time is uh, I need to make sure my valve stem is as close to the end of when I start jamming it in so that it's easy to get to. The other thing is uh, I got to make sure I get everything to that side. So let's see if we can jam this thing in now. Now, now that I've done it once before and I am an expert. <laughs> no, I'm not. Guys, I am making this up as I go along. And if you got an old tank laying around that's smushed, practice. Give it a go before you put it on something really, really good. Again, I don't have a lot invested in this, so it's it's a good 
trial and error kind of project. And if it works, hey, it's even better. Okay, so I think I'm, one, I think I'm getting everything on the other side where it should be. Two, I have the, the valve stem right where I'd like to have it. Oh, look at that. That looks like we know what we're doing. A broken clock is right twice a day. Sometimes you just get lucky. Let me tighten this guy up. What do you think? We went five and a half PSI last time. What do we go? Do we just put it up to 50? Do we just, just go up to 50 and rip the knob off and run? I could. I could rip the knob off and just leave you guys here to see what happens. We're, we're looking at this guy right here. Can this thing pop out? Can we put it up here? Okay. That's a good thing. So let's turn this guy up. Let's go up to 10. And uh, I may step out of the room. Just because if that, if that tube pops, it's going to be loud. I think this dent moved. I was watching it from the other room because uh, I didn't want to hear it explode. But should we go a little bit more? Let me let the air out of it and then let's see if we can reposition it. Maybe we'll do that. It's just going to be tough because this is reinforced right here because of this guy. Let's give it another go. What do you say, 15 PSI this time? What do you, at what pressure do you think it's gonna explode? Let me know in the comments down below. We've done, that was 10. So, let me know in the comments. Okay, let's go up to, I'm gonna do 12. I'm a chicken and I'm gonna wait in the other room. You guys tell me if this works. Let me make sure I got you in good. Keep an eye on that dent right there. Right there is what we're looking for. Let me put light on it. There, that's what we're looking for. Keep an eye on it. Good luck. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Twelve PSI was too much, guys. I don't know what you were thinking. But it moved. It is way shallower. This line, I was watching it from the other room. This line has, has come in a bit. This line has, it, the whole thing's gotten smaller. 
I mean, we look at it, it's still big, don't get me wrong, but I've got another mini bike tube. Let's see what the carnage looks like. <laughs> it kind of blew up. I would say it blew up a little bit right in there. It's just, it's just got a small leak right, right here. Guys, I don't know about you, this is intense. I'm watching through the window over there and my ears are plugged watching this thing and I'm waiting for, I don't know, maybe the whole tank to explode. I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen, but we're gonna try one more time. This is better, right? Is it getting better or is it just me thinking it's getting better? Am I crazy? I could, don't answer that. So let's get the other inner tube. Hey guys, wanna jump in here to apologize. We had some uh, video corruption issues. The next inner tube exploded and then we shifted gears to beating it with a hammer and this thing from the inside. So that's where we pick up. Enjoy. Okay, we got a different stick that we're walloping it with. This should let us get in a little, little tighter to get in, hopefully right there. Let's find out. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll try it with the rubber mount, the dead one first. I feel like it's hitting right there. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Did, right? Right in here? Right here, this edge, right here. No, I feel like it's still... Oh, come on now. <laughs> okay, let's go to the bigger hammer. Let's see. Okay, so I put a little bend in this thing to hopefully let me get right in here. Pretty good. Okay, let's see. Oh, look, it's nearly perfect. Let's go take it in there, tap, tap, tap. So we got a little bit of a, a ding. We got dings everywhere. It's, it's considerably better than where it was. Let's look at it inside. Okay guys, here we are with our CB750 tank. You can see we got a good bit of the dent out over here. And then we went ahead and just uh, ceramic coated the outside just to make it look better. It's, I still have loads of dings in here. And I may come back at, at them and try to get this guy a little smaller. And same thing with, with here. I've got a bunch over here and I may try to get these out. But at least now when I look at this tank, I don't feel so bad. Right? It was pretty rough before, but it cleaned up really, really good. And with the PDR, I know I can get these, some of these, maybe not completely out, but I can get them a little shallower. This one too. This one would be a little tough because it's right on the shoulder. But anything that's on the flat part is really easy. Remember this guy was smashed in over here. And it's pretty good when you look at it. The inner tube did not work so well. Right? It worked. We gave it gave us a the inner tube worked a little bit, right? It got a little bit of it out. The Pounding on it with a rod, got most of it out. Is it perfect? No way, no way. Is it better than what it was? Is the dent smaller than what it was? Most definitely. And it was just at a weird spot. If, if we weren't right here on where the, the badge goes, it would have been way easier to get out, but that was just reinforced with another piece of metal. But dude, I'm super stoked with the way this thing came out. Came out really good. I like it, I'm happy with it. And uh, I really like this color. This is a great color. Is it perfect? No. Do your best to bring these things back. Start with an old tank. If you have an old tank laying around, see what will happen. That's why I didn't really care so much about this one. Could I mess it up? Yeah, I could have stuck, put a hole in it. But do what you can. See, see what happens. 
So guys, as always, thanks for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind and hit the subscribe button. And while you're in the subscribing mood, go ahead and subscribe to our friends, Brickhouse Builds, Moto Mango, Gold Guy, Ace Cafe Bikes, and Plan B Motos. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.